my giving is Wizard Kelly, y'all, and the camera is this far away from me. Hair still cut off. It's enough. I hey, this is the Britney Ink channel, and we have another vlog. I'm starting things off wearing this Girlfriend Collective sports bra while I have on the shorts, too, again. I don't like that. I am on my way to the gym as soon as I finish up talking to my girlies. Let's touch base on a few things. As far as what is to come for this vlog, I don't know. I don't have many plans. I have a few plans. A few. Let's just take a, a deep breath together. Anyway, I have my smoothie here. I have it in a, a little cute glass today because I was shooting content, but never fear, babe. <laughs> Big Plastiana is here for the rest of it. I also have some chlorophyll water here, babe, because again, content. I do drink chlorophyll water every day, but I figured it would be cute with the green, green, like eat your greens, drink your greens, wear green. Now, you'll see that probably before you see this. Anywho, we have a few things. I stopped into Sephora. Their sale really does nothing for me. One, because I don't have my Rouge status anymore, which is fine. So I got a few things. I replenished my cleanser, the Inky List Phobic Acid Cleanser. I really like this cleanser. It's a nice gel foaming cleanser. It has fulvic acid in there, which is an AHA. As I said before in my skincare video, I believe I'll link it. You should definitely give it a watch because there's so much good information in there. You don't expect to do any heavy lifting with the cleanser. You just want to wash your face. You just want clean skin. You do the heavy lifting with your serums and your leave-on products, your serums, or maybe a really, really good cream. Sometimes a treatment, like an enzyme mask, but never a cleanser. So this claims to brighten. It's not on my face for longer than like 60 to 90 seconds. So I just like it. I don't know why this receipt's so long, child, because I got three things. I also got my Grande Lash again. My lashes used to be so long and thick when I was on this consistently. I believe I spoke about it before. But once you stop, you go back to what you had before you started. I don't know how because I, I didn't necessarily see my lashes shrinking or see them falling out. It's really interesting because you lose the density. Like the lashes were so heavy and black. Anyway, I got some more. I'm ready to be a consistent babe. Summer is approaching us and sometimes I don't, sometimes I'm too hot to even wear lashes. So need this. It's fantastic. And I'm going to start it today, the 21st, and I'm going to document how fast they grow because this is one of the products that I will stand on. Love it. And then lastly, I got a brow pencil. I told y'all in one of my previous vlogs that I was so happy about finding those black Marc Jacobs pencils, but babe, they're a little too inconsistent for my brows and I need some consistency because again, we're going into the season where... I can't be bothered with makeup. My skin is about to be tan. The little dry patches that I spoke about in the previous vlog, they're already disappearing. My skin is about to be super clear. I want brows, I want thick lashes, that's it, babe. And then my brows are microbladed, so I don't need much. The black, she's just too inconsistent for me. So we going back to a pencil. This is the color, this is chocolate brown. Something tells me that in the past, I didn't used to get chocolate brown. I used to get one of the other ones, but we'll see. So these things will be in the uh, block, not block. These things will be in the haul. I'll link it above because it'll be out by the time this is out. So I went to Nordstrom to pick up some things. I got the dress from Eloquy, the Christopher John Rogers-esque dress. Because the girls couldn't be bothered with leaving my size on Eloquy.com. It sold out over there. And there was only a 26, 28 left over there. 
I got this dress in size 1820. I would have got a 1416 to keep it a buck with y'all, but it does have a split and I hate gaping splits. So that's why I didn't. It's gorgeous. It's nice ribbed, a light sweater texture, more details on this in the haul. I also got something that I have been eyeing for a while, y'all. And I don't know how this gonna fit. I don't know. But we see where it's coming from, okay? We know that Skims has had me in a chokehold for a while now. And I've always kept it cute. I love the panties. I don't think I really talk about the panties much here. I love the panties. I love my dresses, of course. I, what else have I tried? Those t-shirts, the bodysuits, they have a lot of fabulous stuff. I have pajamas. I like the brand, okay? This is a dress and it's like, ew. it looks like shapewear, but it's a dress. It's giving very much 80s. I believe I'm going to style it as such, if it fits. This is a size 4X. It's looking short, babe. My ass may fall out. I don't know. We're, again, we'll see. Or by the time this comes out, we'll know the truth. So that's what I went to pick up, right? But of course, I had to be up in that store yapping and I was talking to one of the essays and we were talking about skims, yada, yada, yada. And I don't know how I walked out of there with a whole nother skims dress. So this is my fifth one. This is my fifth one. It's gorgeous. It's orange, baby. The summer is coming. This is a size 2X. Babes, I can't wait to color block this. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? And then, and then I got some Spanx. I had to go back home. I had to go back to Spankisha because the other girls were just doing a little too much. I, I just... I just don't want my ass to jiggle. I don't want my ass to clap involuntarily. I don't want chub rub. That's it. So Sarah Blakely. Now the reason I stopped wearing these is because every single pair that I had, and I went through about seven pair. I'm not kidding you. The seam would break in the same spot every time and I would have a hole. I would do a 2X or a 3X. This is a 3X and it will happen with both sizes. So we are gonna see with this. Hopefully that was just a little quality issue and it's fixed now. So that's everything I have from Nordstrom. I also have a slew of clothes right here from like Zara, from Target, from Macy's, all the places that I was shopping in the last vlog. The results are here because I've been accumulating things for um, my haul. But let me show you one piece that I'm just like gagged by. Ah, I flagged it. You see this bag? You see this little purse? It's so cute. It's crystallized. Baby, 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 baby. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you feel what I'm saying? Do you hear what I am saying to you? The pink, the crystals. Now this, the boots are a little bit more magenta. They lean a little bit cooler than this, but it's fine. It's okay, it's all right. I'm so happy about this little purse. I'm so happy about it. I hope it's not sold out because I am going to link it for y'all. I'm going to have it in the haul. I'm going to link it there. Lots of Zara things. Zara invited me to be one of their ambassadors. And I'm so happy because how long I've been giving Zara my money and squeezing into their clothes? How long? Yeah. Very, very excited about that. It's just always nice when people see you. More specifically, the right people. Okay, I forgot to discuss this. We did the Fee Noel try on in the last vlog. Y'all saw, you didn't see what I got. 
well, the haul. But you saw what I tried on. I wasn't the happiest girly because Target or the Target that I went to, they only stocked up to a 2X. So even if the pieces that I truly desired were in stock, I wouldn't have been able to do anything with it. And had I known that, I would have just ordered the shit online. Anyway, I was lucky enough to find one of the pieces that I wanted online. Okay. Come on. Not necessarily in the color way because I wanted black. But these are wrapped in a peculiar way. These are the pants, the kind of harem -y, jimmy pants. I ordered them in the khaki color. I ordered two sizes. I ordered a 26 and a 28 because you never know what Target. I need to try these on before I leave because I'm going to Target. So of course, I'm gonna take them to back. So this is a 28. They're gonna start here because um, I just know my lower body and I know I know what pants from Target have looked like for me before. However, I've always found myself in numbered Target pants, like 2X, 3X, 4X, not really actual sizes, 26, 28, 24. These are on, but is this the desired fit that I want? They look big in the waist. You could already see, child. Not this. Not this, child. Yeah, these too big. But babe, I've been juicing. Look at that. Look at that. Ah! I just. <laughs> but the bottom is phenomenal. Let's try on the 26, Chella. Wow, I'm so happy with these pants. I'm so happy. <laughs> okay, this is better. This is much better. I don't feel like doing the button with these nails, Chella. It's still. It's still a little um, spacious, but let's be for real. We know how I'm shaped. Yeah, we love these guys. We love these. I hope the, um, the biker shorts that I have on underneath are not skewing the fit. Like, <sighs> I can get them tailored though. Get them taken in. Yeah, I can get a tailor. <laughs> these are phenomenal. I love these. I'm gonna check and see if they're still available. And if they are, I'm definitely linking them for you, my babies. I don't wanna be too full of myself, but I wonder if I can go down to a 24. What you think? <laughs> Wizard Kelly, y'all. I I've had enough. Um, I'm headed out to run some errands and go look at some art. This is the Kika Vargas Target collection. I'm pretty sure this is from last year's designer fall designer collection, where they had Sergio Hudson, Kika Vargas, and somebody else that I can't remember. I'm so sorry to them. I am going to Nordstrom to drop my Christopher John Rogers-esque dress off from Eloquy to get it tailored. I do wanna get the waist taken in a bit. And like I said, I really fear that this is gonna be one of them stretchy ones. So I may just get it taken in down the sides. I'm not sure I'll see what Ramon says. Hopefully he's there today. If he's not, Mike got a sheet. I'm so sorry to him. 
Um, and then I'm going to see the Dali, the Salvatore Dali exhibit at the Art Institute because I've been wanting to see that for a while. And for whatever reason, I've been putting it off. And today is a beautiful sunny day. So I might as well head over to see what the girls got for me. By the girls, I mean the museum. I am going to exchange those Target Fee Noel pants. They just, they just too big. I'm gonna get a 24. They still have them available online, thank goodness. I spoke about this in my last like spring collective haul. I will link it above if you have not seen it already. I'm going to see if I could just take those back in store and have them order me the new pair there. Otherwise I'll just take those back, get my money, exchange them, etc., etc. Anyway, let's head out. It's a beautiful day, babies. I'm a little bit late on my own schedule by two hours, of course. It's two o'clock. Wanted to leave by noon, but I opted into recording a little bit of content. Also, I don't know where we last left off. I believe I went to an arcade. That was fun. That was cute. Some of the games felt rigged, and I will not discuss that further. <music> but I wanted to briefly chat with y'all about yesterday. So yesterday I went to Nordstrom to get the Eloquy dress taken in. And then once I left, we saw me go to the Art Institute, specifically to see the Salvatore Dali exhibit. I was a bit underwhelmed, it's true. And that's because it, it was so crowded in that space that I couldn't really digest every piece of art, read about every piece without feeling like somebody was breathing in my ear. So I'll have to go back when I know it's less crowded, i.e. a Monday or a Thursday earlier in the day, like before two. From the Dolly exhibit, which was in the contemporary wing, I would have normally went to see my usual favorites, my favorite Coons mirror, my favorite Picasso piece, the old guitarist. Uh, they have a bunch of Warhol. I would have stuck with those things that I'm very used to and pieces that I really, really love and give me endless inspiration. However, I the museum is full of Renaissance art. It has so much like that the curator they've really done the work the museum is vast and full of pieces some stolen some borrowed some they own etc i typically don't do much in the original wing of the art institute which includes a lot of stolen african art probably some stolen asian art South Asian and East Asian. And then they have a lot of Renaissance art. They have tons of things from the 17th, 18th, 19th, early 20th century. I'm not interested in those pieces because more than likely when I'm looking at those pieces, I feel like they were painted or they are featuring someone who hated people who looked like me. 
And if we are in like the late 1800s or maybe the early 1900s, early of 20th century art, I'm looking at the pieces from the Impressionist era. I'm looking at Henri Matisse. I'm looking at Claude Monet. I'm looking at Vincent van Gogh, babe, okay? But I say all that to say, I just read this book called The Personal Librarian. I read it or I went into it thinking that it was a completely fictional story. I was wrong, I was wrong. It may be fictionalized, is that a word? But it's about, based on like real people, based on the story of a woman named Belle de Coaster Green. And she is the personal librarian. I'm from Chicago, I say library, not library. She is the personal librarian to JP Morgan. Babe, I did not know about that man. I don't know much about old money tycoons, the Vanderbilts, the Carnegies, the Morgans. That ain't really my business. But I said JP Morgan when I was reading the book, I said JP Morgan Chase, what's going on here? So I really got into my Googles. Anyway, she's a black woman, she's colored but she's white passing. Now, when I looked at her pictures and I'm gonna pop one up here, I can spot my sisters a mile away, but I guess those people back in the day couldn't. Anyway, the book is about her working for him. It's his personal librarian where she's curating priceless pieces, manuscripts, books, pieces of art, etc. So because I read that book, I suddenly wanted to look at Renaissance art because there was tons of pieces or it was a lot of mentions of Renaissance art from that period. The book is based in the early 1900s. And so I went to look at these art pieces and it was interesting. First of all, you go into that area of the, the the museum and it smells, it stinks. And maybe it's because this is such old stuff, but there is a stench in the air. So it's giving pissy, just like those people smelled pissy. And I looked at the art and I said, hmm, okay. And of course I went to art school. So I, I once upon a time I had to look at all of this and, and write about some of this stuff. And I said, girl, these people, the art is just meh to me. It's it's just skin so white that it's gray and green. Lots of titties, lots of babies, lots of way too many depictions of Christ. So many depictions of Christ. Men in in diapers, and I'm assuming they're angels. Like I'm uh, please. But the book made me want to look at it. I looked at it. It was an enjoyable experience. Anyway, after that, I scrammed, I skedaddled, I came home. My knee was on fire. I still don't understand. I'm in shambles because of it. Anywho, I'm headed out. I'm running late. I'm about to stop by a friend's birthday gather gathering and then skedaddle because I have to go to an art convention. A small one, much smaller than like an art basel or Expo Chicago. This one is significantly smaller and I'm only going for this one day. For Expo Chicago, I had a VIP pass. My, I can, I can go unlimited amount. For this, I don't. And I really don't want to. I don't want to. I'm tired. But I'm wearing a white t-shirt that really needs to be steamed, but we don't have the time from, and now this, the Australian brand that I've mentioned, this mixed metal, chain belt from Ashley Stewart, I believe. These pants from Eloquy, baby, they are too big. Look at this. Not them having a ponytail in the back. Ah. No one will see, cause I'm gonna put on my leather jacket. As far as a fragrance, I don't know, but I need to smell amazing because I'm gonna be hugging people, so. I'm gonna start with this Vanille by Otomea. This is just the perfect base. It's just amazing. And then 
I kind of want to go to back over me, Tom Ford. I kind of want to go Contre Moi by Louis Vuitton. I kind of want to go A Court Ooze by Byredo. This is, this is Black Sugar by Chorus. I just named all of those fragrances and then picked one up. This one has like a creamy, almost like foamy, soapy quality to me. I don't know how to explain it, but I like it. And I have one more wear left in this bottle. So I need to order another one. And then I think I'm gonna go to back open E. So what we just created is sweet and creamy and smoky. And we love that. So y'all know what I'm wearing on my face. I like my outdoor indoor glasses. Mm-hmm, yeah. And then my coat. And we are out the door. It's a mess around me. Everything's a mess. I'm chaotic. I just recorded my color blocking 102 video. And I, it's Friday. So it's going up Sunday. So once again, I'm going to be chained to my computer tomorrow editing it. But it shouldn't be too hard of an edit. Anyway, let's head out, baby. finished recording my color blocking 102 video and now I'm sitting here eating out of my big jug of chicharrones if you like a little crunch but you want to be low carb pig skins pork rinds chicharrones Chicha is it chicharrones or chicharrones mm. anyway I'm tired. It's 12:23. Sunday, 12:23. The video has to go up tomorrow, Sunday. I need to edit it. Definitely not doing that tonight. So that means I have to wake up early tomorrow. I wish I had something more productive to say. And to be very honest, I'm only recording right now because I look a little cute. <laughs> cute eating pork rinds. And then I'm about to drink some beet juice to balance it out, babe. Yeah, see? A big old glass of nasty. Salute. Tastes just like dirt. I kind of want some broccoli, too. <laughs> mm. Broccoli, pork rinds, and beets. What a meal. I hate the big ones because if I bite into it, the leftover portion is going to pop all the way over to Timbuktu. And who has the time? Anyway, y'all, we've reached the point where I'm discussing the shapes and textures of pork rinds. So that means that the camera shouldn't be on anymore. <laughs> Address this vlog. Baby, I was down for the count. I did something sometime last week. Today is Tuesday. I did something maybe last Thursday. I 
sprain my wrist. Something, whenever I broke my nail, I injured my wrist. And babe, up until two days ago, I, this hand was just completely clocked out. I couldn't move my wrist, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't even type on my phone with this hand. So we're back, we're about 77% there as far as this wrist is concerned. I can now do things, but if I do too much, I still feel a twinge of pain. So ice and some heat and some patience got me back to this point. So now I'm playing catch up. On my content calendar, I wanted to have this vlog done and out by now, but because I was in such an immense amount of pain, I didn't go out and do anything this past weekend that would make for entertainment for y'all. So now, this vlog is probably going to come out May 14th, which is the day before my birthday and my best girl's birthday, my auntie, she's turning 96 this year. So, yes, so that's what we're aiming for. Anywho, a couple of things. I randomly, sometime between the last time I spoke to y'all and now, I decided that I wanted to travel somewhere solo for my birthday, so I'm doing that. So I'm going to start packing today. I'm leaving the night of my birthday. So I need to start organizing my goods and packing for that. So for that, I said, okay, I need a new tripod. So I'm on Amazon, what's the best tripod? So there's this the white one with the silver details that you often see the creator girlies using. And I saw that amazing reviews whatever whatever however comma that one i forgot how many inches it extended up to but then this one which is very similar extended up an extra three inches i'm a tall girl so i appreciate the versatility and levels but girl so i'm like i need something a little compact because i'm not trying to be hoisting no big old pole around with me they said 12 inches I said, okay, I could accommodate a foot in my purse. Babe, what is this nice stick? What is this mandingo ass <laughs> tripod? This is the base. So then you still have to attach the um, camera holder piece. This is not 12 inches. And what they, I think what they meant as 12 inches, I don't even know if this detaches. This from here to here, this may be 12 inches, but this is not 12 inches. So I'm a little annoyed, but whatever. It feels, it feels sturdy. A pet peeve of mine is when people get something and they're like, oh, the quality is so good. And it's like, babe, it's the year 2023. We should know by now that people can use different techniques to make something feel expensive. I.e., if you have a dress, from Shein and they use a thicker fabric. That thicker fabric is going to make it feel more luck, but it's still from Shein. And don't get me wrong, I like Shein, but we know what we're paying for. Me and Mandingo, we're gonna work it out. Next, I got some things in from this skincare brand called Cooper K. I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Cooper. Cause how else do you pronounce K-U? Cooper or Cooper, Cooper. I got some things. So I got their moisturizer. It's the vitamin A and E night cream. And it comes in this here too. Lovely packaging for this. It's beautiful, sleek. Hopefully it works great I like the ingredients and um it'll look good on the back of the counter so I'm going to definitely photograph this because this is a smaller black owned brand and then I also got the cocoa butter cream for a balanced complexion we love that again 
same packaging. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And then I got the Razor Relief. Relief from shaving and waxing irritations. Again, same packaging. Gorgeous and lovely. So we have Cooper K. I'm gonna link these down below after I use them. If there's no link. Also, I got something, another thing from the Target Be Noel collaboration. This is the oversized beach towel. It is double-sided. And I ain't tried it yet, but I'm not gonna hold you. It has the same stripe print as the satin pants and matching shirt, like that cohort. I'm definitely going to attempt to make this some type of skirt. Yeah, because I shouldn't have to miss out on that print. And this has the print. I was just at Target doing my normal shopping and I saw this and it was just still there. There's still some things from that collaboration that are just still there. But of course, never my stripes. And of course, never that cap tan. I've seen those striped pants come back into stock online in a couple sizes, because I guess returned. But babe, ain't nobody returned that cap tan. And that's very nasty of y'all girls. It's been almost a month, but I'm still working on getting through it. I also, the pants that I showed you guys earlier in this vlog, I did exchange them. The 26 was just too big. I got a 24. The 24 is still too big in the waist, but we moved because I can't do a 22. I could get it on, but it wouldn't have the desired fit. So we're gonna stick with this 24 and work with that waistline. Also, I have a, a pumpkin enzyme mask on my face right now. So if I look funny, that's why. I'm trying to get myself back together after my little injury because babies.
girlies, let's chat. So earlier you guys saw me go to H&M and check out the Mugler collection. After I went to Zara and then I went to like Nordstrom and stuff, but chat. I was so hot. Today it was like 80 degrees and I was just so hot walking around and being in the dressing room. I didn't have the capacity to record it all, but I will show you guys what I got. This is like a little mini haul. I definitely got a little bit more than I expected to, but, and I was kind of shopping with my little trip in mind, but really kind of none of what I got is suitable for where I'm going. At least I feel. Let's just get into it. So first from Mugler, H&M. I got two things. I got the men's like burnout t-shirt and a size extra large. I like it. I like it. I would have much preferred the women's sparkly one but of course that one was long sleeve and I took a little gander at those sleeves, baby. And I just knew it wasn't for me. That garment held no space for me. Those leggings, loved them again. I, don't, I, I didn't even, I know everything is sold out online, but I didn't attempt to check online to see what sizes they went up to, like if they even went up to a 4X online. Because they definitely went up to a 2X in store. Again, this is a 1X in men's. And then I, and then I also got this corset, which I'm obsessed with. This is a 2X. I feel it's a little loose in the bust area. But again, I don't think it's loose in a bad way. I also didn't have it completely zipped because I couldn't do that by myself in the dressing room. And I'm constantly reminding myself that everything does not have to be tight. Uh, ex I did attempt to try on the men's like corseted tank because I thought it was very interesting. However, unlike this one, which has the mesh paneling, which offers a little bit of stretch, the men's was only this portion, and baby, as you can see, there's no stretch. So, you saw that I tried to try on the dress that kind of looks similar to this. It didn't work. And what else did I try? That may have been it. But also from H&M, I got two other dresses. This yellow lacy one, love it, love it. This is... This is a size 2X. I think it's perfect. It's a little bit tighter in the arm. But also, when I tried stuff on, I was sweating, which kind of didn't allow fabrics to fully slide up. That's what I'm going with for this. But I love it. I love how the sleeves bail out a little bit. I like the length of it. I think it's kind of appropriate for where I'm going. Maybe. I may take it just in case, depending on how much space I have in my bag, but I like it. And of course, I'm linking everything. Might not get so lucky with the Mugler because it just may not be there no more, y'all, and I'm so sorry. And then lastly from H&M is this dress. I love this dress. Now, let me tell y'all how I was this close to getting the dress from Eloquy that is sheer and sequined and i believe it was a part of gabby fresh's most recent swim collection but it was the same concept a nude um sequin sheer dress and that one was like 150 but of course eloquy always has some kind of discount going on so i think it was like you know 40 percent off this was like 30. And I actually like this better because it's warmer and the color is closer to my skin tone. It's not an exact match, of course, but it's more coppery. It's more warm than the one on Eloquy. And it's a fraction of a fraction of the price. So that makes me very happy. So yeah, definitely, this is an XL. You saw in the dressing room I had the 2X and the XL. 
I ended up, I didn't even try the 2X on. I just went with the XL. So again, y'all, H&M and their sizing is generally pretty forgiving. It's very um, generous. generous, generous. So sometimes you don't even have to go to the plus size part of the website because their straight size stuff is accommodating. That's H&M. Now, Zara. I got two dresses from Zara. One that I've been ignoring every time that I've gone into the store and I finally tried it on and I liked it. And the other is this. I saw this on a girly online and I said, yeah, yeah. Now let's ignore how similar it is to the other Zara dress that I recently tried on and featured it in a haul. I don't remember which haul, but I'll link it. It's similar. It's true. This one, the difference is that this one has more of a uniformed crochet, whereas the other one had varying sizes. The other one was also um, a thicker strapped, higher neckline. It's different. It's different. This is a size large. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I cannot wait to wear it. And then I got this one. I love this dress, but I don't know why for some reason I've been seeing this dress and I always ignored it. I love that it has like the printed like beach motif on it. That's very cool. It is sheer. It's sheer, but it's triple line. So, baby, I was sweating so profusely in Zara. It was so hot in there. And I had been walking down Michigan Avenue. When it came to trying this on, getting those layers down, I struggled. It's true. So, the, the top was, like, not pulled up because it's a size large, though. And, of course, I will link it for y'all, my babies. Then I went over to Nordstrom Rack, and I got some things. I got these from Dose Vita. Y'all know I like to keep it real cute at my little three inches. Three inches is the max. This isn't three inches, but it's close. Now, I like these because y'all know I'm a mule mommy. I love my mules. But sometimes like the thicker straps, sometimes I need something different that's not a thicker strap. I need something a little bit more strappy, more delicate for some of my dresses. I feel that way. Like I need something to be lighter on the foot. I felt like these were the perfect shoe to fill that vacancy in my shoe wardrobe. However, I don't wear flip-flops. I don't wear any type of thong sandal. The only flip-flops I have are the flip-flops I used to wear, because lately I've just been doing my socks, but used to wear in the sauna at the gym. I haven't like worn thong sandals since I was like 17 or 18. So these, this definitely bothers me, but I do know that I can get the little jelly things from like Dr. Shows or whomever, I'ma check Amazon and put it around that to act as like a cushion for in between my, to my toes because I started to say something else, something more inappropriate, but. This, it don't feel good, but the, the height, the comfortability surrounding the height is fine. It's just the thong, so. And then I got some flat sandals, y'all. I like this color, this like olive color. These are the Nordstrom Rack brand. Didn't know that was a thing, but I'm glad it is because they were cheap. So I'm gonna check Nordstrom Rack and see if they have these available. And if they do, I'm linking it for y'all. Yes, we'll talk later, guys. We have, we have lots to do. I have to do my nails. I'm gonna try to do some design. I ordered some, some tape shit off Amazon that'll be here tomorrow. So I'm gonna cut these off tonight and maybe soak them off, meaning my hands will look ragged daggy when I go out tomorrow, but that's fine. Then I need to, notice I didn't get new hair for my birthday because I don't care. I'm gonna refresh these braids. I have to wash it. I have like, built up edge control 
and I'm gonna wash, cleanse my scalp and try to make them look fresh. And the reason I didn't get one and get fresh, beautiful braids is because I'm gonna be in some water and I wouldn't wanna get like new knotless braids frizzy, I'd rather. Anywho, we'll talk later, babies. It's 6.28. I have an hour at the very most to get ready, but maybe less than because I have a reservation at eight. And of course, I'm sitting here trying to shoot content because my birthday is tomorrow. Babes, let's get ready. This is a finishing wax from Dry Bar, but I really like the way that it smells. I also have the, what brand is that? The Way Dry Shampoo, which was from their collaboration with Byredo. And it smells like Mojave Ghost, but I'm wearing a sweeter fragrance today versus a fresher. So I didn't want that. Hey Siri, what time is it? It's 7 p.m. Babe, 30 minutes. Hey Siri, set a timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes starting now. True life, none of my brushes are clean. I'm basically putting powder in the same areas that I put the primer in because those are the areas and which I wear makeup. And I don't, even, I don't even feel like doing too much tonight. AKA, I don't have the time to do a lot. What, you know, what do they say about people who are just chronically late? Like, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. Okay, I'm gonna need this powder later, baby. You need to move. First of all, don't flip over like that and embarrass me. The, the thing is, I don't even know what I'm wearing tomorrow. I don't even know what I'm wearing tomorrow. And tomorrow is my birthday. And I don't even know what I'm doing. <sighs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to wear my, my new Mugler corset. But... I don't know what I want to wear that with. I got like a black unitard that I can wear it with. I can also wear it with like a black silk skirt. I can also wear it with like those baggy Eloqui jeans that I love so much. However, comma, I think those are a little bit too big. You know? I'll be looking a little stupid when I wear them now. Like I know how to look cute in pictures with them. But in person, I think I look like a diaper booty. So, but that would be hella cute, right? Like, y'all, a little corset with some like baggier jeans and some mules. Yeah, I may try. I ain't gonna hold you. I may try. Okay, but you getting a little, you got a little aggressive with that um this brow. Let's, let's dial it back, babe. I think this brow pencil that I got from Sephora is too light. I think in the past when I used to get it, I would get like the shade darkest. And this was like the fourth shade from the darkest. So this is, um, who are you? Chocolate brown, which you would think makes sense. I made sure it wasn't too like warm tone, but I always grab her. I want to get a Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette, but I keep telling myself, oh, you don't wear makeup enough for that to like make the investment. Like this was probably like $50 and it's years old and I ain't hit pan on nothing. Almost this one, cause I wear this color a lot. Well, not even almost. You could just see that it's the most used, but I don't think that it's close to pan. No! That's my baby. It's giving. I 
don't know what he asked me if I'm ready for. He ain't taking me on a date or nothing. He ain't taking me to dinner or nothing. What's going on with him? I'm just going to go in with my fingers per use. I feel like my phone is going to ring in any minute with an I'm on my way call. Hey Siri, what time is it? It's 7.15 p.m. Yikes. While those drive, let's do a look. Eyeliner at the bottom. That's okay. Okay, girl. Sometimes I like a little tight line. Okay. Let's do it. I'm not even know if you can hear me. 